Hey guys, I am so excited to be making you this video. I've been waiting like 10 months to show you the technology that I've built and how I intend on using it with Jumpsuit, which is my independent agency. Um, but if you are anyone who works with clients, you work on teams to do projects, this is gonna be a really interesting tool for you to consider. So if I can help you or if my team can help you imagine what it would look like for you to be on this platform, please reach out. But I think one of the best ways to show it off is to actually give you the first concrete example. Um, okay, so the first thing we're looking at here is our homepage on Jumpboards. You can actually click around if you want to. It's jumpboards.app slash jumpsuit. So this is live, you can take a look. Um, but really this is a way for us to showcase all of the different services that we offer for our clients. So we've got these categories. Um, we do strategy, we do branding, we do production, etc. cetera. And um, the interesting part of the tool is actually giving a client the ability to like, not just know that you do something because like let's be honest there's a million agencies that do production and there's a lot there's like millions of freelancers entering the market who do that too right so it's not going to be helpful in the future to be like yeah we do that thing what's going to be more helpful to a client is yes we do that thing and we've got a tried and true process for it and here's examples to help you imagine what it would be like to work with us that's really the power of jump boards so if you can imagine, let's let's say a client reaches out, they're interested in uh, shooting a broadcast commercial. So we click into this jaunt board, and the first thing that we're able to do is our sales team can send this over and say, yep, we do it. Here's some examples of our videos. So if you can imagine like a reel up here or sample videos, um, but it's a, a high level view of, you know, all the um, all the different things that it would take to be able to accomplish this job. Now. Uh, this is really interesting for us because there's a lot of companies that will shoot a live action video, but they don't necessarily know how to navigate um, insurance, SAG, you know, like being able to like accomplish actually shooting a broadcast spot. That's a very niche kind of type of video. So we're able to prove that we know how to do that. Uh, by giving access to our process. At any point in time, someone can click in if they're like, hey, what, what do you mean by animatic? We can describe what we mean. We can actually like include links. So if a client wanted to see previous work we had done, to, again, to help them imagine, we can put all of that in here. Uh, but the goal obviously is to get a client excited to work with you and asking for a proposal or an SOW. And so what you're able to do is actually, um, uh, click on start a proposal. I've got one built right now. What it does, this is really cool. Um, it turns that process into a collaborative way to define a scope of work. It also gives you a, an opportunity to drop in any sort of like deck that you're used to using in case you've got examples or um, anything in there that you want to make sure you can show to a client. All of that can be embedded right here in your proposal. Um, but what's fun is you can sit down with the client and basically say, like, you know, there are things that we can do to help with your timeline or budget. Um, so maybe, like, we decide to skip talent and it's just going to be a voiceover to save some money. Or, um, you know, the client says, actually, we're going to, like, do all the paperwork with the union. We don't need the agency to do it etc. So you can imagine getting super clear on a, on a scope of work helps ensure the success of a project. If you're not aligned up front, that's one of the big reasons that a project will go off the rails in the first place. So um, in a future state, job boards will actually be able to take this proposal and generate an automated, uh, automated scope of work for you with AI. Um, but this is our version one. This is our MVP. We don't have that feature yet, but it's coming. So let's pretend client says, yep, all of this looks good. Scope of work, to, work is, gets signed. Now we can take this and start a project with a click of a button. What's amazing is as a team starts to work their way through a project, the scope is in front of them the entire time. Historically, if you pull up a scope of work midway through a project, it's because um, something's unclear or there's, you know, there's like a hard conversation that needs to be had and that never feels good to a team or a client. But this is a really easy, like organic way just to keep everyone in mind as to what was 
promised in the first place. Um, it also becomes a high level project management tool. I mean, you can still use Asana, Monday, whatever you use. Um, but, uh, and you can link to those things here, pretty much anything with a URL on the internet. Let's say you are using Monday and you've got a link for it. Um, you can put that in here and there you go. The team can easily access that now with the click of a button. That's the same for Figma, Frame, a PDF on Google Drive, something on Teams. Everything can be here. It's almost like this like high-level digital file cabinet where, where a team or a client can say, uh, where, can, you know, where can I find my stuff? Uh, what's it, what I love about it, it's like, what have we done already? Where are we at now? What comes next? Where can I find all of my stuff? That is the essence of a jump board. Um, you know, certain things, statuses, if we want to say like this, this is locked, we can't go back, you know, without repercussions, then you can use that button to make it crystal clear. Um, you can also provide a client view. Um, you'll see that with the team, there's some data baked in so we can see how many people are accessing this document. Um, we'll have more analytics down the line, but a client's view is going to be pretty similar, just a little more clean. And what's cool is they don't have to bug your project manager anymore. Hey, where can I find that thing? It's all right here in a single URL the whole time, all right here, um, which is also nice for clients because sometimes their boss pulls them aside and says, hey, how's that Wheatley Neatly project going? And uh, the brand manager can just pull this up and take a look. So that's super exciting. Um, but yeah, let's just pretend we've worked our way through a project, the project's done. Um, let me go back here. The project's done. And um, obviously, because everything's been attached here and is aligned with the SOW, this could be your single link that you send as proof of work. So instead of going to your email and like, here's all the assets we created and the raw files, and it's just like this messy list of like links to Dropbox folders or whatever, it's just one link and it takes them right here. Um, that's super helpful. Also, um, super helpful for you as an agency or, um, or whatever you do to be able to retroactively show a team, maybe you're onboarding someone new or doing a similar project in the future. Here's how we got that done. Here's examples. Here's, you know, it's all right here in one place. Um, okay. But here's, here's what's cool. Um, we finish a project and we can at any point in time complete it and turn it into a case study. So let me jump here. So this would be the screen. Um, let's say uh, Wheatley Lee's wrapped. We have our client's permission to share with the world. Or maybe they say, yeah, you can share it, but we really do not want the public to see what our treatment looks like. That's proprietary to us. We'd like to hide that great hidden. Um, so you can do that across the board. You can attach anything or remove anything that you want before you generate that public link. And that view would look something like this. Um, you can see the final videos here. If you wanted to peek in and actually see, you know, what our treatment looked like, you could. Um, if you want, like, we've, we spent some time actually generating behind the scenes videos of how we actually, like, produced the jingle for this spot. Am I going? Okay. So this is a really fun way to, like, generate content along the way and... Um, become more active on social media. So that's kind of fun. Anyway, it's it's really as, as uh, little or as much as you want to put into it to be able to showcase your team and how they do the work, not just the work, uh, the end result itself. Um, so this is fun. Also, if you have completed projects over the past couple of years without jaunt boards, you can go ahead and you can put them in here and you can convert them into case studies, which is really nice. Um, the other thing I'll say is once you actually complete a project. Let me actually go back to our homepage. Um, this, this feature isn't available yet, but it's coming. And if you can imagine, once you have a case study generated, now there's a little logo down here for Sazerac. So a prospective client can click in and actually see an end to end example, like I just showed you. So as you finish the work, it starts to create and update your portfolio along the way, which is really helpful. A lot of freelancers and agencies are not updating their portfolios until they have to or everything's scattered. So this is just like such a simple way to organize it. Um, very quickly, someone can see like, oh, wow, they've used brand strategy with Disney and Visa and, this, you know, and, and the proofs right there. Um, okay, so 
Here's the other cool part. So we were just exploring how one business could use this to showcase their services and get a project done. As we were building this out, we realized, let me go find this board. Okay, we realized that because we have our process documented now, we needed Emily who knows this process better than anyone on the team. We needed her to create a redundancy of herself. We needed to get what was in Emily's brain, like out of her brain uh, into the company so other people could do this work too. So we started using jaunt boards as a way to have her basically create these like tutorials and e-courses for our growing company. So we've, if you can imagine, we've got templates in here and we've got um, links to the insurance company we use and how to navigate all the SAG paperwork and all of this stuff, all of this stuff in one place for our team internally. And as we started doing that, we were like, oh, oh gosh, like if John Ford's only had a feature where we could productize this and sell this to other agencies or production companies who maybe, you know, can make a video, but they do not have the robust, you know, templates or processes that we do because we've been shooting TV commercials and they've never had a chance to do that. And they've never had needed to work with the union or something. Now we can actually... Uh, it was just like one little feature that we added that unlocked, pun intended, the potential now for Jumpsuit to productize everything that we know. So now we can make money from the services we provide, but we can also make money by turning what we know into products so we can start making some passive income. Super exciting. Um, so what that essentially looks like is we can... Um, click up here. You can decide to gate your content if you want. Um, you can pick whatever dollar amount you think your board is worth. It could be $10, $1, $999. It's entirely up to you and what your customer would value that board at. You can also um, gate your boards for free just with an email, which is a really interesting lead gen strategy. Um, and let me go ahead and hit gate. And so I uh, when anyone goes to buy this board, all they have to do is unlock this, pay some money. We have it integrated, I think, with PayPal. You can also use Stripe. It's totally up to you. Um, they buy this board. Uh, everything becomes accessible to them. Um, I don't have the screen right now that shows what it looks like when it's gated, but you can just imagine. You can like you can look at everything you're seeing right here. It's just all grayed out, and you can't actually like click anything until you pay the money and unlock unlock the board. And then it's totally yours to use how you'd like. You can even make a copy of this board and start to use it with your own clients, and you can drop in your own things. Um, so. If you're catching on, I am teeing up the opportunity for a process marketplace. Uh, we need to have a critical mass of um, people and their processes on this platform. But we are building a future in which anyone could go to John Boards and say, hey, I have a client asking us to do a go-to-market strategy. Um, how do I do that? And they could go buy it and attempt to do it themselves. And if they can't, and they get stuck, they can reach out to the person who made this jaunt board. I don't have it listed right here, but there will be a call to action in the bottom that I'll build out that'll essentially allow anyone to hop onto Emily's Calendly and pay her an hourly rate to be able to pick her brain or ask her to help for five hours with this thing. So another way to get my team work without having to do big scopes of work is just giving people access to the experts which you can do for yourself or you can do for your team as well. Um, let's see. Yeah, I, I mean, there's a, there's a lot I could talk about. We have a really, really big plan for the future. Obviously, the process marketplace is one thing where you could buy, sell, uh, buy or sell processes. Um, we, we see a future where we'll be able to allow um, individuals to combine their processes and go after larger, larger scopes of work with clients. So for instance, um, there's a lot of, there's a lot of amazing UX UI designers out there and they may have a client that says, Hey, you're, you're a creative guy. Like, can you do our website? And you know, they're like, I can, but like, I'm not going to be able to provide the copy. I'm not going to be able to make the videos. Like I have a limited scope. 
Um, and a lot of times a client is looking for an end to end partner. And so that opportunity might just have passed them by and they left money on the table because they're just one person. But in with jaunt boards, they'll be able to pull in a copywriter and pull in, you know, a, a video agency or whatever, and actually sell a project to a client, use this to put everyone together in one place and get work done that way. So I keep using this reference. I'm, I'm sure I'll come up with a better example, but it's like, it's kind of like Captain Planet in my mind. It's like you plus me plus him and her equals now um, a service provider that can do everything for you. That is a really, really exciting future, I think, for all of us because clients at the end of the day, they want to work with the people they trust. That was how I was able to build my agency. I was a creative director. I can do a lot of things, but I can't do everything. All I did was win trust and then build out an amazing team around me of other 1099s who are also entrepreneurial and we built an agency together. So um, anyway, it's it's uh, a really exciting tool, obviously, in our space. But we have, gosh, we have people who are in real estate who are building jaunt boards to make it easy for their clients to know where they're at in the process of buying or selling a home. We have um, like wedding planners using this because they're sending emails all the time. You know, like, I need you to pick out your location. I need you to pick out this and everything's scattered. Um, but they can build a jaunt board and take their client through um, all the decisions that need to be made and keep it all in a single URL. So we're excited to be exploring the potential of jaunt boards across a variety of industries and um, even outside of service providers, because we have this ability to productize a process now, the reality is um, this is going to become a powerful side hustle platform because there's going to be a ton of people who are still in the nine to five who have expertise that they could share um, if they're willing to kind of organize it and attach things to it, maybe make some content and then go attempt to sell it. And I, I always kind of say that... Um, I believe that the most powerful, valuable jaunt boards are going to be the ones that we build for ourselves three to five years ago. So actually, let me show you an example. Um, I'm uh, outside of jumpsuit. I'm working on my own personal jaunt boards. I only have one right now, um, but this is what I've been doing for the past five years. I left the nine to five, became a freelancer, built and scaled an agency. And so that is the world that I know. And I have a lot of value to add for anyone who's trying to do a similar thing. So I built this jump board and it's really kind of that journey, right? It's not, this isn't a project. It's just my process of how did I set up my freelance business? How did I win work with clients? What was it like for me to scale? What kind of new things, you know, new meetings and new templates and new contracts, all of that stuff what needed to be created to be able to have a multi-million dollar agency? Um, so all of that stuff's right here. Um, some of it's super lo-fi, like you know, this kind of feels like a journal entry in a Google Doc. And then um, and then I've got some more like hi-fi, you know, this is like a PDF to, for, that um, answers a lot of like essential foundational business questions when people are stepping out on their own. Um, I've made videos. I've, I even have another jaunt board that I link to where um, this will be something that people will need to buy if they want access to this. But literally every contract that we have, all of our freelancer rates, um, the templates we use with our clients, it's like the ultimate toolkit. Um, and at any point in time, if someone has a question they want to reach out, they can do that across our jaunt boards. Um, Calendly is like such a great uh, addition here. Um, anyway, I, I'm really excited. As you can tell, I could probably talk for another like two hours about this, but I won't. Um, just know that I am so excited to be available to talk to any of you about how, um, how it could look for you to get your business on that platform so you can start to win more work and collaborate with others and and quite honestly build a company that's actually like scalable and sellable i think a lot of us are um especially when you go out on your own as a freelancer you know you're like kind of like project to project and um this inherently i think makes you look more professional um it it 
it forces you to have some sort of rigor to be able to show up professionally to a client and win bigger work. And again, like I said, the ability to get more people collaborating with you so you can grow and build something is going to be quite an interesting future for this platform. Um, we, we've already been talking to a bunch of Fortune uh, 500 companies who have said, you know, we're not we're not necessarily like going to use this tool to document our processes, but man, we do not know how to write RFPs. Um, we do not know exactly what should be included in a project and we don't always know who the right partners are so if you can get a critical mass of a lot of different kinds of individuals who do different things onto this platform we'd be here all day so that's a future we're building towards as well so anyway get on it ask me questions we're here to help thank you for your time i'm super excited